Hi, future pilots. So today we have a special guest. He's a friend of mine, a brilliant young entrepreneur, and he's here to share his secrets in achieving success. Naniniwala ako na kahit ngayon pa lang, importante na na may vision tayo at tayo para sa future natin. I believe we aspiring pilots can learn a thing or two from what Ian has to say. Especially you guys na naghahanap ng backup plan or yung may gustong ibang profession pa aside from being a pilot. At age 18, Lian had his debut at the Young Founders Summit 2018 at Southeast Asia, which was held in Singapore. There, he pitched his idea of an online platform for caterers here in the Philippines. And our team was one of the finalists of this event. Later that year, after successfully establishing his own business, he spearheaded a Young Founders Summit event, which was held in Valenzuela City. Now, He is developing other startups based on his concepts, ideas that will create an impact towards a better future, not just for the Philippines, but also for the world. Grabe, sana all. So, syempre nothing worth having comes easy. So, tell us about your struggles, yung grind, kung ano yung nangyari para ma-achieve yung ganito. So, mostly, there are nights or there are days na just uh, sad. just like in college or any profession or any uh, line of profession or in there will be uh, the practice days where you will be uh, preparing yourselves because I believe uh, there's a quote in it like the more you sweat in training the less you bleed in battle so that quote simply says like the more uh, let's say for example in my Uh, in my line of pro profession, the more I prepared uh, studying uh, different problems, studying different opportunities, different uh, models. During your grind, there are days na hindi ka recognize There are nights na feeling mo matubato pinagawa because it will be very, uh, very, very lonely. Like uh, during those nights, now, like for example, sa college or in, even in my uh, own experience, where in all of your colleagues, all of all of everybody around you, they are just like living simple life. Where in, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Like they are just uh, spending time with friends, spending time in social media, sp spending time doing uh, anything else. But you, since you have that right vision, you have the you have the dream, you you have that precious goal. Uh, you will be in dark, uh, preparing and achieving, and slowly taking steps towards that dream. Overcoming adversity really requires resolve and a tough determination to succeed. So it all started with Cater X. Actually, I'm advocate of doing impact to your community. So there are a lot of ways to do that. So since I'm like a, a student from uh, science and technology curriculum, it seems uh, practically I'm in love with technology. So my first course of action before was uh, study more on technology, physics, uh, more, on, more on science. So. I did a lot of things in between before doing business. So, uh, through my journey in, in pursuing technology, I discovered that business is a way to, uh, to scale it and in order to be able to get it to your target customers. Because there are a lot of technologies that, that will just be uh, beautiful to hear academically, but practically there's uh, no such thing as what they call this more of like the, the way that people can use it let's put it that way so I discovered that the way to, to scale it the way to really build something significant is somehow build it on top of businesses you know because businesses if people 
we, we are in a capitalist country, you know, in a democratic country where in, if people really like or really need what you're truly building is they will pay for it with their, with their money, you know. And with that uh, key indicator of success of a product, you will know if you will have a North Star wherein you will know if you're if you're having progress, if you're really doing impact. So yeah, I started uh, a little science project in high school and then towards I worked on problems that can boost my uh, credibility. So what I did was I discovered uh, a problem on the event services. So what I uh, what I did, uh, I help both sides of the community. I help uh, the producers like those catering services, those event services to to be able to scale and furtherly reach out to their clients and to the other side, the users, uh, its target users, I was able to give them a tool, a technology wherein they would be able to identify which one, uh, which services fit their needs in terms of prices, quality, uh, and all of uh, all of your standards. So secondly, uh, after that, I I was able to go to Singapore and I able to saw there uh, what let's say uh, a more progressive country doing. So I saw like even a ten year old is already doing something significant. I remember that they built a watch where in the technology can measure one's heartbeat per minute so I was amazed with that and then afterwards I got some uh, recognition from local government of Venezuela when I came back from Singapore so what I did was I took the leap of faith and you know I took the initiative to ask them for sponsorship and I built a project a really really ambitious project to emulate the the, uh, the, the, the program that I saw in Singapore so yeah I started Young Founder Summit for in I was able to get uh, a Singaporean organization to commit it on it, uh, a few sponsorship from the US program and most of the sponsorship came from the local government of Venezuela which as I can remember is almost 2 million pesos. With that program we were able to we were able to train top 30 teams from across uh, Venezuela City's high schools. So the winning team, I was able to uh, bring them to Beijing, China. Where in, we were able to uh, bag the second, no, I think yeah, second runner up, and and that what they what my team built was like is is a cane. It's simply a cane with the technology in it, wherein there's a vibrate or a sensor and the mobile app connected to it. So you know. It will. Uh, it is empowering uh, visually impaired people to do uh, the things that they want to do independently, because uh, their families and friends can, can monitor them via mobile app, and they can and and the visually impaired, you know, the PWD can reach out to those friends and families through that device itself. So yeah, after that. Uh, yeah, now I have a recent project. It's it's a it's a technology in enabling Filipinos to have access in stock investing. So I discovered the three problems with that is it is expensive. Uh, secondly, uh, there's a stigma, a bad brand about it. It's like more of a boring, laborious tedious uh, endeavor so that's why only less than one percent of Filipinos are involved in investing and third one the most important was lack of expertise to it you know because everyone's not good in math so that's I mean that's one thing and and everyone is not in I it's safe to assume that everyone is not into finance right so yeah that mostly that's mostly what I do right now. All these great achievements and with everything that you have struggled with, what lessons can you impart?
to the Filipino youth. What is that essence or passion that has driven you? Yeah, firstly, with everything you do, you should uh, find purpose to it. When you find that strong purpose, and if you really believe in it, that's the number one thing. Secondly, we all have different habits, different uh, different framework, different thinking process. So the way to achieve that purpose, that objective is to, I believe is my mantra with it, is to take baby steps. Even though it's a very little uh, progress, as long as you do it every day, it will, uh, it will compound uh, through time and eventually help you achieve that goal. There you have it guys, Mr. Leon Patinao. Take your idea, believe in it, and make it happen. I believe we aspiring pilots can learn from this, and this applies to all Filipino youth. We could all learn from what Leon has achieved. Let this be an inspiration to all of us that we can make our dreams happen. Thank you for watching guys. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more inspiring videos. Always remember future captains, dream big, aim high, and go follow your dreams.